storms can hide that radiance peaceful beaming. Since Jesus came to seek and save the lost, give me the Bible, holy message shining. Thy light shall guide me in the narrow way. Precept and promise, law and love combining, till night shall vanish in eternal day. Give me the Bible when my heart is broken, when sin and grief have filled my soul with fear. Give me the precious words by Jesus spoken, Hold up faith's lamp to show my Savior near. Give me the Bible, holy message shining. Thy light shall guide me in the narrow way. Precept and promise, law and love combining. Till night shall vanish in eternal day. Give me the Bible, all my steps enlighten. Teach me the dangers of these realms below. That lamp of safety or the gloom shall brighten. That light alone the path of peace can show. Give me the Bible, holy message shining. Thy light shall guide me in the narrow way. Precept and promise, law and love combining. Till night shall vanish in eternal day. Give me the Bible, lamp of life immortal. Hold up the splendor by the open grave. Show me the light from heaven's shining portals. Show me the glory gilding Jordan's wave. Give me the Bible, holy message shining. Thy light shall guide me in the narrow way. Precept and promise, law and love combining, till night shall vanish in eternal day. Break thou the bread of life, dear Lord, to me. As thou didst break the loaves beside the sea, beyond the sacred page, I seek thee, Lord, my spirit for thee, O living word. Bless thou the truth, dear Lord, to me, to me, as thou didst bless the bread by then shall all bondage cease, all fetters fall, and I shall find my peace, my all in Well, hello everyone, uh, this is 
by the leading 2022. How's everybody doing? Well, I mean, Nick with us. Uh, uh, he says, Hello, CJ. Hey, Nick. Good to see you. Uh, Angie Casey comes in. Uh, she says, Hello, CJ. Hey, Angie. Good to see you. Uh, m let me just, I'm sharing the stream, um, to one other person. Y'all have a good day today so far? Good afternoon? Kay comes in. Hi, everybody. She says. Hey, Kay. Good to see you. I guess, how, how am I? Uh, I am better today. Uh, my voice is just about back. It's not quite there yet, but I'm sounding much better today. Good to see you all. So, as always, please submit your prayer requests. Today, we're going to be reading Genesis. Uh, Case is so glad you're a lot better. Me too, Kay. <coughs> Still got the cough a little bit, so bear with me. We are in Genesis chapters 25. And 26, so we would turn over there. Uh, how, how are you doing, Nick? I forgot to ask you that. Check in with you. Okay, how are you? Good to see you on here. Um, Nick says, doing well, but I'm getting ready for my sermon more. Preaching on heaven. Alright, great. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, well, as you know the drill, we're about to start the reading. But you can, um... You can still submit prayer requests. Uh, cases, I'm fine. Uh, just have a cough that's been hanging on for three weeks now. Uh, we'll, we'll pray that your cough gets better. How, how's Pony doing? Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes those cops just hang on and hang on, don't they? Alright, well, well, let's get started with the reading. Genesis 24 Now Abraham was old, well advanced in years, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. And Abraham said to his servant, the oldest of his household, who put in charge of all that he had, put your hand under my thigh, that I may make you swear by the Lord, the God of heaven, and God of earth, that you will not take a wife for my son from the Can daughters of the Canaanites among whom I dwell. But will go to my country and to my kindred and take a wife for my son Isaac. The servant said, Perhaps a woman may not be willing to follow me to this land. Must I then take your son back to the land from which you came? Abraham said to him, See to it that you do not take my son back there. The Lord God of heaven, who took me from my father's house and from the, from the land of my kindred, and he spoke to me and swore to me, to, to your offspring I will have this, give this land. He will send his angel before you, and you shall take for my son a wife there. But if the woman is not willing to follow you, then you will be free from this oath of mine. Only you must not take my son back there. So the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham, his master, and swore to him concerning this matter. Then the servant took ten of his master's camels and departed, taking all sorts of choice gifts from his master's house. And he rose and went to Mesopotamia, the Nahor. And he made the camels kneel down outside the city by the well of water at the time of evening. The time when women go out to draw water. And he said, O oh Lord God of my master Abraham, please grant me success today and show steadfast love to my master Abraham. Behold, I am standing by the spring of water and the daughters of the men of the city are coming out to draw water. Let the young men to whom I shall say, Please let down you draw that I may drink, and who shall say, Drink, and I will water your camels. Let her be the one whom you have appointed for your servant Isaac. By this I shall know that you have shown steadfast love to my master. Before he had finished speaking, behold, Rebekah, who was born to Bethel, son of Milka, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, came out with her water jar on her shoulder. No, the... Verse Genesis twenty four sixteen. The young woman was very attractive in appearance, a maiden whom no, no man had known. <clears throat> she went down to the jar and filled her jar and came up. Then the servant ran to meet her and said, Please give me a little water to 
to drink the new jar. She says, Quick, my lord. And she quickly let down his jar upon her hand and gave him a drink. When she had finished giving him a drink, she said, I will draw water for you camels also until they have finished drinking. So she quickly emptied her jar into the trough and ran again to the well to draw water and drew through all the camels. The man gazed at her in silence to learn whether the Lord had, had prospered his journey or not. When the camels had finished drinking, the man took a gold ring weighing half a shackle and two bracelets for her arms, wearing ten gold shackles, and said, and said, Please tell me whose daughter you are. Is there room in your father's house for us to spend the night? He, she said to him, I am the daughter, sorry, I am the daughter of Bethel, the son of Milka, whom he born in Nahor, she added. We have plenty of both straw and fodder and room to spend the night. The man bowed his head and worshipped the Lord, he said. Blessed be the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who has not forsaken his steadfast love and in his father in his faithfulness toward my master. As for me, the Lord has led me in the way to my house of my master's kinsmen. Then the young woman ran and told her mother's household about these things. Rebecca had a brother whose name was Laban. Laban ran out toward the man to the spring. Genesis twenty-four thirty. As as soon as she saw the ring and bracelet on her sister's arm and heard the words of Rebecca, his sister. Thus the man spoke to me. He went, he went to the man, and behold, he was standing by the camels at the spring. He said, Come in, O blessed of the Lord. Why do you stand outside? When I prepared the house and a place for the camels, so the man came to the house and unharnessed the camels and gave straw and fodder to the camels. And there was water to wash his feet and the feet of the men who were with him. Then food was set before him to eat, but he said, I will not eat until I have said what I have to say. He said, Speak on. He said, I am Abraham's servant. The Lord has greatly blessed my master, and he has become very great. He has given him flocks and herds, silver and gold, male servants and female servants, camels and donkeys. And Sarah, my master's wife, bore a son to my master when she was old. And to him he has given all that he has. My master made me swear, saying, You shall... You shall not take a dolly for my son from the Canaanites of the, of the Canaanites in whose land I, land I dwell. But you shall go to my father's house and to my clan 
and take a wife for my son. I said to my master, Perhaps the woman will not follow me. But he said to me, The Lord before whom I have walked will send his angel with you and shall prosper you way. You shall take a wife for my son to my clan and from my father's house. Then he will be free from from my oath when you have come to my clan. And if they will not give her to you, you will be free from my oath. I came today to the spring and said, O oh Lord, the God of my master Abraham, if now you are prospering the way I go, behold, I am standing by the spring of water. Let the virgin who comes out to draw water to whom I say, Please give me a little water for me, joy to drink. And who will say to me, Drink? And I will draw for you camels also. Let her be the woman whom the Lord has appointed to be my ma master's. Sorry. I was appointed for my master's son. Verse 45. Before I had finished speaking in my heart, Behold, Rebecca came out with a water jar on her shoulder, and she went out to the spring and drew water. I said to her, Please let me drink. She quickly let down her jar from her shoulder and said, Drink, and I will give your camels drink also. So I drank, and she gave the camels drink also. Then I asked her, Whose daughter are you? She said, The daughter of Bethel. Nahor's son, whom milk aborted him. So I put the ring on her nose and the bracelets on her arms. Then I bowed my head and worshipped the Lord and blessed the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who had led me by the right way to take the daughter of my master's kinsman for his son. Now then, if you are going to show steadfast love and faithfulness to my master, tell me, and if not, Tell me that I may return to, to the right hand or to the left. Then, La then Laban and Bethel answered and said, The thing has come from the Lord. We cannot speak to you bad or good. Behold, Rebekah is before you. Take her and go. And let who be the wife of your master's son, as the Lord has spoken. When Abraham's servant heard the words, he bowed himself to the earth before the Lord. And the servant brought out jewelry of, jewelry of silver and of gold and garments and gave them to Rebekah. He also gave, gave to her brother and to her mother costly order, ordinaments, and he and the men who were with him ate and drank. And they spent the night there. When they arose in the morning, he said, Send me away to my master. Her brother and her mother said, let the young woman remain for us. So I back it up. Uh, her, her, verse 55. Her brother and her mother said, 
Let the young woman remain with us a while, at least ten days. After that, she may go. But he said, Do not delay me, since the Lord has prospered my way. Send me away, that I may go to my master. They said, Let us call the young woman and ask her. And they called Rebecca and said to her, Will you go with this man? She said, I will go. So they sent away Rebecca, their sister, and her nurse, and Abraham's servant, and his men. And they blessed Rebecca and said to her, our sister may become thousands of ten thousands, and may you, you offspring possess the gates of those who hate, hate him. So give me a second to reposition my Bible here. Then Rebecca and her young woman Rebecca rose and rode on camels and followed the man. Thus the servant took Rebecca and went his way. Now Isaac had returned from Beulahroi and was dwelling in the knee grip. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field toward evening, and he lifted his eyes. And, and saw, behold, there was camels coming. And Rebecca lifted her eyes, and when she saw Isaac, she dismounted from the camel and said, Who is that man walking in the field to meet us? And the servant said, It is my master. So she took her veil and covered herself, and the servant told Isaac all the things that he had done. Then Isaac brought her into the tent of Sarah, his mother, and took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her. So, so Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Genesis chapter 25 Abraham took another wife whose name was Keturah she bore him Zeran, Jonathan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. Jonathan followed Sheba and Dedan. The sons of Dedan were Ashram, Lishram, Lumim, the sons of Midian were Epha, Aphir, Hannah, Abida, Elida. All these were children of Keturah. Abraham gave all he had to Isaac, but to, to the sons of his concubines, Abraham gave gifts while he was still living. He sent them away from Isaac eastward to his east country. Hey, Carol. Genesis 25, 7. These are the days of the years of Abraham's life. Uh, 175 years. Abraham breathed his last and died in a good old age, an old man full of views and was gathered to his people. Isaac and Ishmael, his sons, buried him in the cave of Machpelah in the field of 
Afrem the son of Zoe the Hittite, he is the Mamak. The field that Abraham purchased from the Hittites, there Abraham was buried with Sarah his wife. After the death of Abraham, God blessed Isaac his son, and Isaac settled at and Isaac settled at Beulah Roy. These are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the servant, Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's servant, bore to Abraham. Verse 13. These are the names of the sons of Ishmael, named in the order of their birth. Nebah, the firstborn of Ishmael, and Keter, Abil, Mibsam, Mishma, Dama, Massa, Ad, Ad, Hadad, Tima, Jetu, Napis, and Kidama. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names by their villages and by their accompaniments, twelve princes according to their, to their tribes. These are the years of the life of Ishmael, 137, he breathed his last and he died, and was gathered to his people. They settled from Haviah to Shur, which is opposite Egypt in direction of Assyria. He settled over against all his kinsmen. These are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. I, Abraham followed Isaac, and, and Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah, the daughter of Bethel, the Armenian of Hadamaram, the sister of Laban of uh, Oh, the sister of Laban of uh, Aramim to be his wife. And Isaac prayed to the Lord for his wife, for she was barren. And the Lord granted his prayer, and Rebekah his wife conceived. The, the children struggled together within her, and she said, if it, if it is thus, why is this happening to me? So she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb. Two peoples from within shall be divided. One shall be stronger than the other. The older shall serve the younger. When her days to give birth were completed, behold, there were twins in the womb. The first came out red, all his body like a hairy cloak, so they called his name Esau. Afterward, his brother came out with his hand holding Esau's heel, so his name was called Jacob. Isaac was sixty years old when... Sorry. Isaac was 60 years old when she bore them. When the boys grew up, Esau was a skillful hunter, a man in the field, while Jacob was a quiet man dwelling in tents. Isaac loved Esau because he ate of his gain, 
but Rebecca loved Jacob. Verse 29. Once when Jacob was cooking stew, Esau came in from the field and he was exhausted. And Esau said to Jacob, Let me eat some of that red stew for I am exhausted. Therefore his name was called Edom. Jacob said, Sell me your birthright now. Esau said, I am about to die. Of what use is a birthright of me? Jacob said, Swear to me now. So he swore to him and sold his birthright to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and lentil stew, and he ate and drank, and rose and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Genesis chapters of 25 and 26. Kay says, uh, her eyes are a little bit better, but eyes and all healed yet. She's behaving better for my husband's getting her medicine great. Levi made it in today. Hey, Levi. Uh, good to see you, brother. Good to have you. Carol made it in. <laughs> she says, hello, CJ, how you doing? I'm doing pretty well. <coughs> Feeling a little bit better today. Got a little bit of my voice back. Uh, so little by little. And let me quickly go over to the reading page. And I believe tomorrow's reading will be Genesis uh, 20, what was it today, 20, uh, 6 and 27, but only make sure I'm uh, tomorrow's reading will be Genesis chapters uh, 26 through uh, 28. And, and remember, just a note, uh, tomorrow's reading will take place at 3 o'clock instead of 2 o'clock. Kilo says, glad you're feeling better. Thank you. Okay, so, so for the prayer request right now, I have continues, pr continued prayer for a uh, pony, uh, Kay's horse, and Kay's cough, uh, and a uh, case preacher that was hit by a bus. Okay, uh, how's he doing? Uh, uh, do you have an update on him? Is there anything else? Good. Uh, he's breathing better. We'll continue to uh, we'll, we'll continue to keep him on our prayers. But let's go to God, everybody. Bow with me. 
Father in heaven, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you for the accounts you give us in Genesis. Please help us to focus on the word and focus on the message. We love you so much. Please help Kay's car as she's had for three weeks help it to go away and subside. Uh, please help uh, Kay's uh, pony and she has some I irritation in her eye. Uh, thank you that there was some progress with that, Father. Please help our uh, case. Preachers that preaches at the congregation help him to be completely healed from the accident. Thank you for the progress uh, that uh, he's had. Please continue to be with him. Father, we love you. We thank you for this time to read together. Please help us as we continue tomorrow. We love you, Father. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, uh, Carol says, oh, oh, glad to hear that. And I am too. Hi guys, well, tomorrow we'll be reading Genesis 26 to 28, and remember that's at 3 o'clock, and thank you all for joining me, and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye.